Now, for more than 100 years, Wright's Indian Art has brought together the best of the classic Native American crafts, and decades of loyal clients have relied on Wright's for uncompromising quality, value, and personal service. Now, both serious collectors and hobbyists can see for themselves this weekend at the 106th anniversary and grand opening celebration. Hi, Mr. B. <laughs> oh, hi, Nikki. It's so good to be back here with you. Again. It's always good to be here at Wrights, and I'm so excited for people to know that we are celebrating 106th anniversary, and this is going to all take place Mother's Day weekend. So tell us a little bit about this anniversary celebration. Well, you know, we moved. We said the last time that yes. was the last move, but now this time it is our last move, <laughs> and we're having a grand opening, and what we really wanted to accomplish was we have been around 106 years by ourselves. It took the right. artists, it takes the customers, mm -hmm. it takes everyone else to make it whole. It's a team effort. And we are just so pleased and, and excited, the artists that we carry here. You know, mm -hmm. it's, they're all uh, Indian market artists. They're yes. all artists who have won awards. They're all special people. And, and everything without is them, one of a kind. Exactly. They're one of not only that but they're so generous as well mm -hmm. they are just out there to help any way they can and that's why we're doing first nations community health clinics yes way, that's as right our fundraiser. i understand you're doing a silent auction at the event and we'll get more into some of the details of the event but first tell me a little bit about what we're doing with the silent auction and who it's benefiting well we're benefiting first nations community health clinics because we found in uh, and as we were looking for a place to donate mm -hmm. our, our time and effort and to give back to the community, uh, that they really served those people who had no other place to go. First Nations Community Health Source is an urban Indian health center, and we're located in the Southeast Heights. And what we do is we provide medical, dental, behavioral health, and a host of other services, including traditional healing services, to the Native American and other uh, communities in the Southeast Heights. We called them up and said we would like to have a silent auction where every penny that comes in from the silent auction will go to Community Health uh, First Nations. So nice. And we're excited about that. Yes, and we are as well. And we're also excited about the fashion show. Tell me what's happening there. Oh, we were very, very fortunate to get the famous Penny Singer to help us put on the uh, first right here in Wright's fashion show of some of the most unique and beautiful clothing items and uh, jewelry and whatever else Penny decides to put together. I'm very honored to be wearing some of your fashions and I know they'll be featured in the fashion show. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, what um, what I do is I, I make wearable art and what you are wearing is a teepee scarf and it has horses. This is the teepee sticks, the horses, and the teepee with the horse tracks. Beautiful. And what about what you're wearing? And what I am wearing, this is uh, one of my new creations I just recently made. This is the dragonfly cape. It's got the water ripple here. Mm -hmm. And then on the inside, it has like a big old bowl design <laughs> and in the back. Wow. And then it just it just works in motion. But mm -hmm. this is the, the dragonfly cape. So we'll be seeing capes, scarves, also accessories, clutches. Yes. Like, and entertainment, I understand. Tell me a little bit about the music and the entertainment we're going to be seeing. Well, first of all, Adrian Wall, mm -hmm. uh, if anyone's ever heard of his, yes. playing uh, the double flute. The double flute Amazing. is very, very unique. Mm -hmm. And then what's so exciting as well is we're going to have the six times national grand champion hoop dancer, Nakota Lawrence to perform on Sunday, probably around one and at three. Okay. But that's really exciting. So with the fashion show and the international famous hoop dancer and with the music that we're going to have, but with the artists and everyone outside, yes. it's going to be a fantastic weekend, someplace where you can take mom and really co-mingle with mm. the artists and be able to talk to them and visit with them. And, and will people be able to buy the art? Of course they will. Okay, good. That's the main so thing. So everything is available to buy? Everything is available to buy. So, yes, you can we really want people do it. Say, say, this is a perfect Mother's Day gift, I think, for oh, the yes. moms. And Absolutely. So, so now, how can people come on out? What are the details of the celebration? The celebration is going to take place Saturday and Sunday, okay. Mother's Day weekend, mm -hmm. from 10 in the morning till 5 in the evening. Okay. And both days. And we have custom made booths by. Michael uh, Roanhorse and his brother Mark, and it's going to be a fabulous event. And a lot of artists that you are very, very proud to be featuring. Oh, of course. 
always. Kathy Whitman, Penny Singer, Kathleen Wall. I mean, I could go on and name hundreds. Uh, that, there's going to be over 60 artists here. Well, and we and invite everybody, everybody to come on over. And always, beyond even the celebration, the customer service is superb and the art is unbelievable and really something that everybody should come in and take a look at. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki, Thank for you. being a part of our special weekend. And thanks for adorning me. Ah. Oh, they've got incredible stuff. And for more information about Wright's Indian Art and this weekend's big gala, visit our website at casa.com.